Hey you makers, it's Nico and for today's how-to video I want to cover packaging design and in this case uh, little bottles. So as you can see here I have made a series of bottles kind of iterations on a theme and I thought I would teach you how you can do the same thing using a couple different techniques in Umake. So to get started what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new layer. You can see all of these right now are just on a default layer. I'm going to turn this one off create a new layer, uh, tap and select it, and then I'm going to go into my front view, move the canvas over a little bit, and I'm just going to start sketching a curve. So we're gonna sketch one curve that we think, let's see, something like this. Um, I'm gonna move it down a little bit, and you can edit this curve to get it just the way you want. So if you kinda of want something uh, with a little bit of a different shape, we can do that. So I'm going to edit that, and when I'm done, I'm going to select the curve, and then I'm going to mirror this curve over the z-axis. And you can see that now I have these two curves in space. But I, actually, I, I think that that's going to be a little too wide. So if, uh, if you want to work within symmetry, uh, you can simply just come down here to the Quick Tools, turn on symmetry, we're going to turn on the z-axis symmetry, and then the easiest way to uh, mirror something with symmetry on is if you just simply move an element, it'll uh, automatically mirror that if symmetry is turned on, which is pretty cool. So I like something more narrow like that. Okay, that's nice. And from there, I'm going to uh, turn symmetry off right now because I want to connect these, the bottom and the top. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to draw two sketch planes, tap and hold to create a sketch plane, draw a curve between them, do, do the same thing up top. There you go. So now we have a closed shape. From there, I'm going to select everything. Make sure you tap the lasso tool right here to select everything. And uh, I am going to, let's see, I'm going to move this forward just a little bit. Down here, just move this out like that. And then we can use the extrude function, and we can just extrude back. All right, I'm going to turn the wireframe off, and you can get an idea of how the extrude is going. I want to make it a little thicker, something right around there. All right. Now when you do the extrude, it gives you these nice curves on the sides automatically. And what we can do with those, if you want to give some interesting volume, is uh, we can edit those. So for example, we come into the top and select both of those, come into edit, and we can add a point, add a point up here. And if we pull those out, about like that, we'll get something kind of interesting in the overall shape on the front top. And then we can close, go ahead and close the front surface here. Create surface, do the same thing for the back. Select all four curves. And now we have something nice. I actually want to make a little feature, design feature. So I'm going to come back to the top and in the front curve, I'm going to edit this one and add a point in the middle, give it a little bit of curvature, just to kind of make something that looks pretty nice. So there we go. So now you have uh, the beginning of the bottle. Now you can add some materials to this. So I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to add a material. Let's see. I think that silver usually looks nice. And then you can add some color to that. So we can add a kind of a bluish hue to the silver. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. So from there, we're going to need some sort of little nozzle thing. And uh, to do that, 
going to come back to the front view and I'm just going to draw two straight curves. This is the easiest way to do it for, for me. Uh, so I'm going to draw one and there's two. And then I'm just going to edit this and add three points. If I add three points, this will give the ability to make a nice corner. There you go. I want to make sure that this is level. All right. And we're basically going to do the same thing. Now, what we could do if we wanted to save time is we could take the same exact shape and duplicate it. You can tap duplicate up here. Turn duplicate off. Erase any extras that you might have made. And we could just scale this actually. And there we go. Now I'm going to bring both of these over to the center axis. And so that is this one right here. Edit this one point over here. There we go. Bring both of these down. I want the spout to be a little taller, so I'm going to bring it up. And now we can just use the revolve function and create a revolved surface. There you go. So now you have a little spout. And the great thing about this is that whatever changes you make to the curves that you made the surface with, that will be reflected in the actual surface. So if I want to make this a little more narrow, for example, I can. And I'm going to do the same thing with that curve as well. Just bring this in just a little bit more. Yeah. There we go. I like that. And give it some material. I think these I'm going to give chrome to. Or maybe just another silver without the color. Yeah, that looks good. So just like that, in a matter of a couple minutes, we now have a bottle. So that's one method of doing it. I started by drawing a curve using symmetry, then using the extrude tool and making a revolved uh, surface on the top for the cap. Now, the other method to do it, uh, this is on layer two, I'm gonna create a new layer to create a new one, is I can just simply do a revolved surface again. So, close the layers, go back to the front view, and I can draw another curve. I can edit this again. Make sure that the bottom has some sort of kind of point where it can touch down. Let's see, and then bring this some up up to the center. There we go. So let's use that as our curve. And now we can, with just that curve, we can make a revolved surface. See what that gives us. That's pretty nice. And then the same thing, uh, we can use the same technique for the cap on the top, essentially just a revolved surface creating the cap. So. Um, but I'm going to make actually just a, a kind of a cap over the nozzle area. So to do that, I think I'm going to do something, another curve, something similar to that. Let's see what that gives us. Kind of 
Go, go down a little bit. There we go. Do your evolved shape there. A little bigger than I might want, but that's always changeable. So we can take these points, use the, the lasso tool to select most of them, and then shorten it. down like that. Yeah. Give that some material. And now you have another bottle design. So in using the revolved uh, surface, you can get to something pretty nice very quickly. But one other thing I wanted to show you is that be because of uh, the non-uniform scaling that we have, you can actually do some even more interesting designs. So you see that I've selected this, this revolved surface. Say that I want to uh, make it more elliptical in its shape. Well, I can do that uh, pretty easily. I can come in and simply bring each of these sides in a little bit. And now you have a totally different bottle design. So you can start with the revolved shape and just use the scaling, the non-uniform scaling uh, tools to do that. These are located in the little menu with uh, three dots. So you tap here and you make sure that advanced scaling is on. And once you have that, you can uh, do some really interesting work with that tool. So I hope that this tutorial was uh, informal, informational for you and that you learned a little bit from it and I hope that it'll help you uh, in the current challenge that's going on for packaging design. If you have any questions or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram pages. And as always, post your designs to the community. We love seeing what you guys create. Uh, have a wonderful day, have a great week, and talk to you soon. Bye.